everybody, and welcome to my first impressions of Fancy Skulls by Tequibo. This is a first-person roguelike shooter uh, that is built in the Unity engine, an, an, an engine that really just continually fascinates me by the amount of, um, like, really staggeringly beautiful and really nice games that are able to come out of it. It's a... Really, really cool engine, I gotta say. But, uh, th this game it carries a lot of roguelike elements to it, and, uh, many in the fact of it being, uh, having its permadeath system, and, like, frequently dying and struggling to, to fight through the game, getting better and better each attempt you go along. As you can see, they even go as far to have a win and death count on, uh, the menu screen, and I haven't even come close to, uh, beating this game as far as I am sure right now. Um, one thing that I should definitely point out, this game is in its alpha stages right now, so anything you see is, um, uh, has the possibility of changing or growing in the future. So let's just, uh, go ahead and jump into things. Right here on the main, in the, like, game setup right here, you, uh, they have all these little upgrades and stuff like that. These are basically things that you unlock by, uh, completing things in the game, like this one, the random gun, you have to complete the entire game to unlock it first. Obviously, none of these are gonna really matter to us at all, because this is a first impressions video, not like a... And then not a not a full official review where you've completed the game and you're evaluating uh, everything about it and stuff like that. So here is like a, the little tutorial for all the controls and stuff like that. We don't really have to focus on that at all because it is all very standard first-person shooter stuff. Space to jump, WASD to run around, left mouse button to shoot, right mouse button is to use ability. I, I, I haven't seen any abilities in this game in my time playing it, but they sound pretty freaking awesome. And, um... And of course, uh, R to reload. Really cool thing about reloading, um, that I, that I like. It's a small touch, but it's always nice when, uh, you see the shells for your shots on the floor. Especially in this game's case, when you could even see them fall to the floor as well. That's pretty cool. So, let me see, uh, well, let's go ahead and show off the first room here. How, how this game works is that they have this little room set up if we look at it on our map and you start on this first floor and you have to work your way to the end of the floor fighting through enemies uh, room by room because the room closes up once you step inside and uh, once you kill all the enemies in said room, all the doors will reopen and you have to find your ac uh, like an elevator that will give us access to the uh, next floor uh, in this game, we actually move up rather than a lot of other games similar to this kind of uh, setup, which I will save to mention towards later. But, um, so when, when basically there was that little circle sphere in the middle. Once we run into that, it actually uh, puts all the, the fighting or, or our battle sequence with all these enemies into motion. Ooh, there's a actual, like, um, I like to call those pots. Because they remind me of, like, the pots from Legend of Zelda, even though they kind of look more like, uh, chests. But, you know, ch chests always seem to have, like, keys or, or locks that you need to, uh, pick to open them. While those, all you need to do is shoot them or, or make them blow up in some way to get them open. So once you kill all the enemies in a room, you'll hear that nice little ding-ding. That's basically telling you that, uh... You're clear to move on to the next area. So now that we have found two items, let's actually talk about our inventory and how all of that works. As you guys have probably already noticed, on the bottom right side of the screen, you have um your ammo for your weapon. Basically, uh, that that just tells you the max. Uh, I mean, the current clip, like number of bullets that is inside your clip for a weapon. The pistol has unlimited ammo, but we'll find other weapons in the future. Like two I've come across have been the machine gun and the mortar. And both of those um, uh, have limited ammunition, uh, but you can't buy more in shops like and stuff like that. Then on the the left side we have our health, like and you can find heart drops lying around. I don't think that'll do anything for us because um, we're at full health right now. And then there are keys to unlock chests because shops don't require keys or anything. And then there are coins, obviously, our currency for those shops. And occasionally, this does not happen every time, but occasionally, whenever you beat a room, you will get an item drop. In this case, we were lucky enough to get a coin. 
So, um, let's go ahead and leave that heart right there. One thing that I was unsure about before, but it's really nice to point out, um, now that I see it, is that all of the items and, uh, and stores, for that matter, are actually marked on the map. So if you pull that up, you can see that this heart is there. That means if you, uh, clear out the rest of the floor and you take some damage, you could just check the map to see which room exactly you left that heart in. Um, that's something that makes me very happy. So the enemies, let's talk about the- oh, of course we take a hit on pretty much immediately. Um, <laughs> the character design, uh, the, the enemy design in particular, is actually one of my favorite things about this game because they're, they're very well designed from both a gameplay perspective and, uh, no item in the mill, both a gameplay perspective and, um, of course an artistic perspective. I have no idea what these bells that are ringing right here means. I don't know if, like, there's a time limit for each room and that just runs out or something like that. Because occasionally I'll just hear those three rings and I'm like, what are you trying to tell me, game? Um, I should point out, there are these little egg pods that the enemies begin in. And they don't pop out of those until you actually step into the center thing. But, um... But yeah, the, the enemies are very interesting and, and unique because, like the rest of this game, they, they're all... Uh, created with it. Oh, I didn't know enemies could have drops. That's that's the first time I've ever seen that. But um, the enemies are all created with this really really cool like abstract art kind of look to them. It reminds me of like like I feel like looking at when I look at these enemies, I, I feel like I, there's something I might see in a painting by Picasso or something like that. And that's something that I really like about this game. All of the art in this game is 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 pretty. In all honesty, uh, phenomenal in, in, in my, uh, in my, from my, from my impression. Oh god, okay, I hate this dude. This dude is, like, the bane of my existence right here. Basically, he, oh, a little clever running, we'll guess through that perfectly fine. Just shoot him his little eye and we'll take him out pretty easily. But he just follows you around and tries to punch you in your face, so he, he's not much of a friend for sure. Um... But then, the the enemies are also really well designed in the regards that they are uh, very unique gameplay-wise. Like, you, you don't see enemies that... They, they all attack in very different ways, um, and uh, their, their attacks combine to be very threatening, uh, matched up together. I don't know why these rooms don't attach, that's a little weird, but um, there's probably some kind of reason for that. Like, maybe there's a wall blocking it in, in this room over here. But uh, th then also... Um, well, one thing I should mention about the enemy's attack patterns. Oh, here's a chest that requires a key. I wish I had a key. Booey ba booey. But, um, one, uh, one really cool mechanic with all the enemies. Oh, God, it's the running guys. As you guys have probably seen, um, well, almost undoubtedly seen or noticed so far, is that every enemy actually has a critical spot where you could shoot them to critically wound them. In most enemies' case, it's their eyes, or like uh, the bigger eye of the two. This guy, you have to shoot the eye that is actually on the bottom spot of him. Uh, when I first fought him a lot, I tried to shoot his like top main eye where he's shooting at me, but that, that doesn't really do anything. This is cool right here. This is a gambling table. We just put in a coin and hope that we get a few in exchange. Unfortunately, we did not really get anything there. I haven't really experimented with the payout for this thing, so let's just do it once more. Ah, that's unfortunate. So we just wasted two coins. Here's our item room, though. That That's freaking awesome for us. Let's see what we get in our chest. Okay! This is a weapon that I have not seen before. What is this? Whoa! Okay, so it's some kind of laser cannon. That is interesting. Do we, uh, let, let's go ahead and stick with this for a little bit. I usually don't like to... I, I usually prioritize using the pistol because the pistol is actually um, a very favorable weapon in this game in, in my uh, humble impression. Um, let's just shoot these guys in their ugly eyes so we don't have to deal with them. I really hate these dudes because they make the same sounds as the dudes who chase after you, so they always frighten me because they, they make me think that I'm being chased when really I'm, I'm not being chased by anything. Oh, I'd love to get a key! The co Oh, I hate those dudes so much. Um, basically, what as you probably saw, they, they spout these weird little homing bombs that follow you around. I also really have to mention the trees in this game. The, the trees are one of my favorite uh, artistic pieces of it. They, they, they all look so different. Of, of course, there's only like a couple um, variations of the trees, but, but I mean like, 
They're, they're so visually appealing, you know? Like, this one's this weird spiky one. This one's kind of like a dreidel. Also, not really at all, but I don't know. It kind of makes me think of a dreidel. Maybe I'm just in the holiday spirit or something along that like. And this one's like a freaking lava tree or something like that. But let's go ahead and move on. We don't need to spend too much time uh, gawking at the beautiful colors of the trees. Now, this looks like a pretty uh, frightening room, especially with those running dudes after me. Of course, they always take two hits, even when you shoot them in their eyes. Um, I wonder if they take, like, three or four if I miss their eyes? I forget. Ah, okay, these boxes carry ammunition, so those are always really good. Wow, we have a hell of a lot of energy for our gun now. Let's go ahead and test it out on this room. May maybe it fires really quickly, but it's really weak. Um, I would- Oh, no, this thing is damn good! This is a really good weapon! I can't believe we get so much uh, ammo for it. That's that's awesome. I would love to use that thing as much as possible, but I am not because I uh, like to conserve my ammunition in these types of games. I also like to explore all the floors in these types of games, so so I'll, I'll, I'll make sure to get to the next floor, but um... Oh god. I, I feel like it's a uh, pre- I, I think it's a really good thing to show off like the, the beginning floor and because that's what uh, most of the new players will be spending their time with and once again as I have made sure to mention this is a first impression series. Ooh, more ammunition. Wow! That is freaking awesome. But, uh, with everything I've mentioned about this game, because I, I am very positive about it and I feel like I've given off a very, uh, if you're giving off very positive thoughts. Oh, that dude's just chilling. I'm gonna shoot him in his eyes. He didn't even notice! What a foolish fool. That's kind of funny. Um, but but since, I, since I've since um, i been so positive about it, I think I, I do need to mention a couple negative uh, things. So only really two. And one of them I don't really think is all that bad, but I know people are going to make the uh, comparison out there. Uh, whether or not they make it in a good or bad way. But first thing is, really, the the sound... Uh, putting it lightly, currently, the sound design in this game is very, very minimalistic. And, um... Some people might think that's a perfectly fine thing, you know? Uh, I, I really enjoy minimalistic sound, uh, sound design in, in many cases. You don't need to have constant noise. Uh, sometimes that could even be very annoying, but in uh, regards to what I've seen in this game, it, it, it is, it does uh, leave a little bit to be desired in the sense that they're really the only sounds in this game are like the enemies, the shooting, and various ambient sound effects that occur every now and then. Um, whilst this game has like no music at all in it whatsoever at, at this current moment. But as I mentioned before, it is in its uh, alpha stage, so I, I'm sure music will be something that will be coming to this game uh, very soon, if not later. Uh, th this is our shop right here. Let's go ahead and check this out. Super cool thing about the shop, a cannon! I've never seen the cannon weapon before. We have four coins. Maybe we could try to work our way towards that in the rest of our episode. Ray gun, see what's in the egg. I kind of want to just buy that because it has egg in it but we don't need to do that. Apparently, I have to presume that's an upgrade for the ray gun that allows you to see what enemies are on the floor, so that's pretty cool. Uh, revolver, shoot faster! Okay, that sounds really good to me, especially since I use the revolver so much. Reset shop? I've actually never used that before. Let's try to get the fast shooter, and then if we get two more, we'll invest in that. But what I have to presume it does is refresh everything that the shop has, which obviously would be something that ha would have very good value to it. So now that we're on the second floor, we are going to see a lot of new unique enemies. We're, we're going to see some of the same, but um, there's definitely new, uh, very threatening guys. This dude for one of them. I freaking hate that guy. Basically, he's an upgraded version of his little flying friend who's chilling with him in the air. I have not been able to find any of the weaknesses, uh, the weak points of the enemies on this floor. So, um... It just shows, uh, goes to show how well hidden those are. Oh, here's another one, okay. Uh, is that his weak spot? Oh no, his weak spot's gotta be that little eyeball thing that's circling around him for sure. Oh, I almost hit it. But, uh, this guy's very annoying because he's basically just an upgraded version of the other turret dude. And... So far from, from what I've seen, a lot of the enemies on, on at least the second floor are just upgraded versions of the first floor enemies. 
um, that that spout out a lot more bullets. But even that, I think, is perfectly fine because they 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 look a lot different, which is super cool. And um, the 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 greatly increased number of bullets that they shoot out makes them very very threatening opponents. It really made, turns this game into a bullet hell kind of situation. How fast do we shoot? That is phenomenal. I I love this. I love the pistol. The pistol may even be my favorite weapon in the game, even though it's like the basic weapon. Um, so any upgrades to it um, are obviously something that I would greatly appreciate. Okay, we've got the running dude. We honestly should, yeah, we could handle him without even a care in the world, just like that guy up there, because unfortunately for him, he was in like the, the worst position he could ever possibly be for dealing with me. But, uh, back to the complaint, back to the complaints that I was mentioning before, or, um, things that people might might consider complaints um because especially this one i think it's quite nitpicky and not really something that should be a complaint but i i do all, oh shoot it, as an extension of that i feel like it really is something that does kind of have to be mentioned um and that is basically the fact that this game really has a incredible striking resemblance to paranormal paranautical activity like it, it, it clearly takes um i mean who knows maybe maybe the dev the developer of this game just came up with his own idea as well but from from my time of playing it it feel it greatly feels like it takes a lot of themes from it because all the rooms are incredibly similar in the way that they uh lock you in whenever you fight in enemies and like they both have uh shops you know money stuff like that heart drops they're they're very 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 similar in regards to gameplay but honestly i don't think that's all that bad at all because you know like this kind of game you don't really see all that often like in in the greater scheme of, of all games um that come out like every year and stuff like that um and and oh shoot god run from this dude and really this game is so unique and done so well in in, in addition oh shoot this is frightening i'll shoot him in that eye shoot that guy takes so many shots um but really, th this game is is so unique in its own way, and and so beautiful with its art style that I really feel like that. The well, 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 um, the comparison definitely needs to be made. I don't think it should be a complaint at all because as long as games are still coming out good, you know, and and being well made, well designed games, they could have all the similarities um in the world. I think you know. Especially in this game's case, because it really has so much that is different, but... You know, it's, it's a comparison that I... Oh, shoot, that was frightening. I cannot believe I got out of that without taking damage. And there's our first key, that's nice. Um, in all honesty, that's a comparison that I don't really... That I feel a little uncomfortable making, because I think this game is so good in its current stage right now. But, um, as I said, I think it's also something that kind of needs to be mentioned. Let's see what this reset shop does. The energy, uh, you might think that's energy for our character, but that's just energy for the ray gun, because they always started off with ammunition. Does reset shop work the way I thought it did? Yes, it does. There's also a kite weapon. That's another weapon that I haven't seen before. First shot after reloading, do double damage. Okay, that's the first, uh, uh grammatical error I've ever seen in this Actually, is that a grammatical error? First shot after reload, do... Yeah, that is 100% a grammatical error. Should be does. That's a little bit silly, but, yeah, but you know, it's uh, the first one I've seen in this game so far. Um, So, I think it's perfectly fine. Although, this game really doesn't have all that much text in it, but, but you know. Oh, God. Okay, let's let's try to figure out the weak point on this dude, if he even has one. Okay, it's his... It's his uh, right eye as opposed to the other dudes whose uh, left eye is their critical spot oh lord this might be the end of us right here let's um we took that dude ah oh, no i walked right into that one oh well it's probably getting at the point where i should uh, close off this video because i think i've shown enough to represent fancy skulls here um funny enough i don't really know what this game what the name of this game has to do with anything because there aren't too many skulls in the game so far and we're just weird abstract monsters but who knows maybe that has something to do with the ending of the game or, or something along those lines so anyways 
fancy skulls. Uh, super, super good right now. You could pick this, uh, currently it's on, uh, Steam Greenlight, so you guys should all go and, uh, give that a thumbs up. I will put a link to where you could pick up this game and the Steam, the, the Greenlight page below. But currently you could pick up this game for, I believe, five dollars on the Humble Store. Um, and, uh... And yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I think this game would be really cool to get on Steam uh, because, in all honesty, like already, I think this game is uh, a lot better than than let's just say a lot of the games that go through Steam Greenlight. Like some amazing games have gone through Steam Greenlight, but also some that aren't really all that polished to say the least. But Fancy Skulls, it's in its alpha stages and it's already so much fun. So I think it would be well worth it to be on there. And really all it does is take a moment of your time if you are at all interested in this game just to go to the green light link and give it a thumbs up, which of course really, really helps out in support of uh, the developer and stuff like that. So anyways, Fancy Skulls, I think it's super good. Two thumbs way, way up, as uh, Hades from Hercules would say. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.